This is your Fox 47 News Flash. Welcome to your Fox 47 News Flash from the Digital Newsroom. I'm Chris Lewis, and these are the top stories that we're following. The Pentagon confirmed on Tuesday evening that Iran launched ballistic missiles at two targets hosting USA military and coalition forces in Iraq. President Trump made a statement on Wednesday morning. He tweeted on Tuesday that all is well. Missiles launched from Iran at two military bases located in Iraq. Assessment of casualties and damages taking place now. So far, so good. We have the most powerful and well-equipped military anywhere in the world by far. A USA official said it appears there have been very few, if any, casualties. Some people in mid-Michigan say that they were shocked to hear the news, while others said they're scared for their safety. It's really shocking. There's no words for it. I mean, I don't, it doesn't matter what side of the tape you're standing on. It's a scary situation. Like, these are lives, these are people, Nikki Topsky said. LaMarco Joseph is behind bars and is charged with second-degree child abuse and several felony weapon charges after a three-year-old toddler is recovering from a gunshot wound to the head. Court documents show that Joseph returned to his home on South King Boulevard in Lansing after a trip to a nearby gas station back on December 3rd. He said he put the gun on the dining room table and walked into the other room. A short time after that, Joseph's son, King Joseph, shot himself in the head. Joseph told police when he went over to the child that the child was laying on the ground and the gun was next to him. The child's mother was at home at the time of the shooting. She told police she didn't see the shooting and said she did not know that Joseph had a gun. Joseph told police he carried the gun for protection and said he bought the gun just a week before the incident. Police say that the gun was listed as stolen out of Benton Township on December 5th. Michigan State Police says information found on Kevin Bacon's phone led them to his body three days after Christmas. Fox 47 got an update from Michigan State Police on the investigation on Tuesday. Whenever we do an investigation like this, you don't want to be remiss and leave any stone unturned. We will look at his history. We will do a deep search into this. We will find out everything we can about Mr. Latunsky and his past history. We will look at Mr. Bacon's friends and family, said First Lieutenant David Kaiser. Bacon's family reported him missing after he didn't show up to breakfast on Christmas morning. Police then found his car outside of a Dollar General with his phone inside. If it wasn't for his family and his friends, the police finding his car and his cell phone in it, it would have been more difficult to find him and have a more difficult investigation. That cell phone and the data on that cell phone, the state police were able to use that cell phone and the application on the Grinder app. Through that, they were able to go back and extract the conversation that he had between Bacon and Mr. Lutunski. And that's what led us to this house and how we found Mr. Bacon. If we hadn't had the phone, who knows if we would have ever found him, said Lieutenant Kaiser. A well-traveled road near the border of Meridian and Aladdin Townships needs to be put on a diet, according to Ingham County Road officials. The Ingham County Road Commission already plans on resurfacing part of Jolly Road from Hagedorn Road to west of Okemos Road and east of Okemos Road to Doby Road. But now, officials are proposing narrowing the road from four lanes to three lanes. Currently, Jolly Road has two lanes going in each direction, plus a center turn lane. Traffic experts suggest removing a lane on each side and replacing them with a bike lane in each direction. And the Ingham County Road Department did a study that included the number of crashes that happen on Jolly Road, plus the number of cars that travel the road each day. With two schools on that stretch of road and several businesses, the goal of reducing the lanes is to make it safer to turn left. Learn more about all of these and all of Michigan's breaking news on fox47news.com.